So good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of the day you happen to be watching this. So welcome to a unique edition of Yoga Journey. So this is a pre-recording. Normally we're uh, fortnightly live on a Monday on um, More Yoga's YouTube channel. No, More Yoga Zoo, um, Zoom. So I'm Yvonne and I'm a restorative and Hatha yoga teacher with More Yoga. And Yoga Journeys is all about me finding out the journeys of yoga teachers of colour. So Connection Cafe was More Yoga's way of getting everybody together during lockdown. And then in the light of the Black Lives Matter protests, I was asked to create a space to do whatever I felt was appropriate to raise the awareness of teachers of colour or whatever. So I came up with asking teachers of colour same 10 questions and the answers have all been so different, it's been wonderful. So this afternoon, my guest is Joe Joseph. Hey, uh. <laughs> welcome, Joe. Thank you so much, Yvonne. You're most welcome. <laughs> so before I delve into the Yoga Journeys questions, who is Joe Joseph? So I am a yoga teacher. I've been a yoga teacher for five years, but I've been practicing for about 17 years. I'm also a DJ and I've been doing that for 30 years. So I've got the yin and the yang going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I love both jobs and um, yoga has kept me sane, to say the least. Amazing. What is your music genre? What's your speciality? Well, my main genre is house music, uh, sort of a nice sort of soulful stuff as well. And I do play disco as well. Amazing. What a wonderful combination. <laughs> Working. Indeed, indeed. Okay. So are you ready for the Yoga Journeys question? Yes. Okay. First question. Honouring our ancestors, please tell us your family lineage. Um, <sighs> I am a mix. So my father is Nigerian and he's from the Yoruba tribe and my mother's Indian. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I've got a, a, a mix I've not met, come across very often, to be honest. No. Uh, yeah, but I love it. Absolutely love it. <laughs> Where did your parents meet? Do you know? I think they met here in England. They were, my, my, my mom's a nurse and my father was a doctor. So they met at work, I guess. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay. So jumping into the, the yoga journey itself, where, when, and with whom was your first yoga class? It's funny that, because I really remember it very clearly. I used to live in Ibiza. I was there for seven years. And within the first few weeks of, of being there, I was at a, an outdoor party and I bumped into this guy. He was a yoga teacher and he was kind of preaching a little bit like, oh my God, you should be doing this, you should be doing that. And I was like, actually, yeah, um, you know, I was, trained as a dancer and I oh. love I, I like dancing so for me I, I, I the yoga was made sense to me you know moving the body and stuff like that so he came around to my villa and I started private lessons and Excellent. Uh, it was amazing we used to be on the terrace with the sun looking at the sea wow <laughs> you know? um, I tried to do it at least three or four times a week with him so how long ago was this this was oh 2001 Wow, long time ago. Yeah. Amazing. So you say you're a trained dancer. What style of dance? I was a contemporary dancer. Um, so I studied all the way through school. I did ballet when I was very young and I was wow. uh, got a scholarship to the London Contemporary Dance uh, Studio, theatre, whatever they call it. Amazing. But I fell I sort of found house music and then decided to just be <laughs> DJ instead <laughs> after all those years of training. <laughs> How do you how do you just decide to be a DJ? What, what I was happens? just crazy. I had to do it. I love the music, the energy, the vibe, and I just felt I had to be part of this scene that was happening. You know, it, it was our rock and roll. So for me, it just made sense, and I just dropped everything, and I was like, right, this is what I want to do. <laughs> okay, excellent. So, which what came first, the yoga, then the DJing, or dance was first? Dance. Yoga DJ. Well, dance first, and yeah. then uh, no, the DJing um, was second. Okay. And then the yoga. Yeah. Okay. So when you were in Ibiza, was that because you were on the scene? You were DJing when you were living yeah. out there. DJing, living out there. 
Right, okay. He needed to stay sane, basically. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so when did you realise how far apart? So 2001 was the first class. Mm. How much later did you realise you wanted to start teaching yoga? That was a uh, lot later because I've, uh, I've been teaching for five years, so it probably was a year or two before that. So, but yeah, seven years ago. Okay. And I, I was, yeah, it took me a long time because I didn't feel very confident in, 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 I don't really like speaking in public, put it that way. That put me off to start. And That's really interesting. I, you know, You're a DJ, so yeah, how I do you not like speaking in public? I, you don't speak, and what I do, you just mix. You're in the corner. Oh, you just mix. It's just like yeah, head yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. I don't mix speak. in. Yeah, okay. You're not, you're not chat, chat, chat. Okay. Uh, okay. So yeah, that 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 was a bit daunting to me. So um, once I did the course, I was like, okay, I can do this, and it helped me actually come out of my shell. And you know, um, yeah, it, it did change me the course. Excellent. So what do you think? What was it that drew you in to want to teach? I felt that I just didn't want to stick with the, the one thing, the DJing. I knew that I was getting older, um, my life was changing, I wanted to do something else, something that meant something to me, something that was healthy. Mm -hmm. At one point of being a nutritionalist, because I have been juice fasting for the last 15, maybe more years, every year. I'll do a week and I'll just have juice, uh, colonics, <laughs> and mm. detox. And I was really interested in the health benefits because I used to feel amazing every every year doing this fast. So I studied nutrition for a year, right. thinking I was going to be nutritionist. And then I thought, actually, I don't want to just be sitting in a room listening to people's <laughs> bowel problems. I was like, that's not me. I need to be moving. I want to stay healthy. So then I got my boyfriend at the time said, look, I'll pay for you kind of thing. And you do the do the yoga course. So um it just Excellent. makes sense to me because it, it gives me the same feeling. It's like the DJing, um, you're giving something to people, we're making people feel good, you're giving mm. energy, and, and obviously I've got my music. So for me, it's it's similar. It's quite similar. Excellent. And you combine the two sometimes, don't you? With I your... do indeed. I do okay. my yoga, disco, smoking yoga. <laughs> and the, it's like house music, disco light, bit of dancing, some yoga. <laughs> Amazing, amazing. Not okay. very purist, I know. <laughs> well, you know what? You know, it's it's whatever whatever you're drawn to. So yeah, what is purist? Well, this is the thing for me as well. Getting into yoga was because I know a lot of people are very put off by the spirituality. They don't want to chant. They feel it's embarrassing. They can't certain things they don't like. So I'm trying to slowly pull people in who maybe not we know clubbers as well who don't fancy the spiritual and then once you're in there you can start introducing them to the other mm -hmm. elements you know wonderful so where was your first teacher training where when and with whom was your first yoga teacher training well i did it in london i looked at lots of places abroad but i just didn't fancy that going away for four weeks and smashing through some course and then coming back and not really knowing what i've done so i did it mm. over about eight months i think with mm -hmm. Claire missingham he's amazing uh who, so with who Claire missingham okay right yeah 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 he's so knowledgeable and she was so inspiring and um really amazing course did it in london in old street in one of the dance centers there and that was five mm -hmm. years ago so Never, what year that was, I don't know. Wonderful. 2010, no, 2015. Yeah, yeah, 2015, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonderful, okay. And do you remember how many people were on the training? I think there was about 25 to 30 of us. Okay. Yeah. And from the, t of the 25, 30, there was you, yeah. plus how many others people of color on the training? None. You were the one. I was the one. You was the one. And that was only five years ago. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I mean, everybody, somebody asked me the other day um, in their interview, I think it was Jay, Jay Gibbs was saying, you know, has that been the norm of all the interviews that I've been doing since so about seven or eight or nine yeah. now? Yeah. And it's like, yeah, you know, it is unfortunately the case where the, the numbers are going to be smaller. Mm. but hopefully now going forward we start to see a change yeah. in the numbers increasing you know it's never going to be 50 50 <laughs> not, yeah. not not yet yeah. but um you know hopefully numbers start to increase but also more importantly i think 
because of the Black Lives Matter protests, studios will do more to start recording who's on their training. Whereas I've asked the question to some studios and they, you know, understand we just haven't been recording it. Yeah. Whereas now I think there'd be more of a drive to, to do so. Right, okay. So moving on to the highs and lows of yeah. the wellness industry. Yeah. I'd like you to start with the lows and then end with any highs. Okay. And any uh, lows, because you know, they might not be lows for you, but you know, yeah. we're asking what what sticks out for you when you think of the wellness industry. I think definitely being on the course, being the only sort of black face, whatever, that that felt a bit like, oh, do I fit in? Mm. Like, this is for me what you know how's this going to work and then very quickly moving out of the course and trying to find jobs in studios you know you go there and you get that feeling you know actually I don't look like any of the other teachers and I know there's a couple of jobs I could have easily got and it did feel to me like she just doesn't look like any of the other teachers and you, you know it's it just it was just this very white middle class very skinny women and this older black woman you know and it felt a bit on the outside and I was really worried at first that I'd made this huge mistake and I couldn't, I wasn't maybe going to get any work, you know, because no one wanted me. So that was a big low and that was horrible to come out of the course and go straight into that kind of uh, feeling. Um, and the other lows I think is, is, is the injuries. And you know, I'm not getting any younger and it's, it's a lot of stress on the body, isn't it? And now right. especially with the lockdown, teaching online and having to, to demonstrate much more often, I'm I am, uh, yeah, getting a bit broken, to say the least. But, okay, because um, I probably should have asked this earlier. What style of yoga do you teach? Well, I teach Vinyasa Flow, and it's dynamic. Okay. So right, okay. Extra bits that I add in, and it's, it's, it's a good, sweaty, strong class. So um, Okay. Yeah, but it's keeping me fit, you know. Good, um, I can't good. think of any other particular lows. Uh, yeah. So how do you look after yourself, then, with the injuries? Lots of massaging. Okay. Massages, I should say, yeah. What type of massage do you prefer? I have like a deep tissue or nice osteopath that will kick me back into shape. <laughs> nice, yeah. nice. So you shared the lows. Yeah. What are your wellness industry highs? I think the sort of... Is the energy in the, in the, the sort of lovely vibes and the people that I've met in the classes that come to my classes and the people that appreciate it and actually say they do or send me messages and and one of my students drew me a lovely picture and of myself and she just you know, said you know I absolutely love your classes and that's like oh wow oh, you know, that's it, lovely it so like, lovely. A, like a portrait yeah, yeah, yeah. amazing it's lovely another woman sent me a message just yesterday just saying how much she enjoyed the the yoga disco and it made her cry she said she was crying so oh, that, that's great lovely. that's what I want I want I don't want to make people cry <laughs> but I want no, to, it's a release isn't it yeah you know, as much as it's, a, it's a release so yeah, yeah. So that needed that's... something needed to come out for her so that's great yeah that's so that's been lovely great so what got you through lockdown so obviously what got you through the first lockdown and how is this how was the second lockdown because it's second of December so we're just yeah. out of it today well, the first one, luckily, I've got a friend who I've known for a long time. His name is Laurent, and he's an amazing yoga teacher and meditation teacher. He's a like, mm. the Don. He's, he knows so much. And he started these free meditation mornings. So oh. like twice or three times a week. So I'd go and do all these different practices that I'd never even heard of before. And Excellent. It was lovely. We had so many people joining online. It was such a nice thing for him to do. So that Excellent. was really grounding. And then... I did quite a lot of yoga practice myself. I'm Excellent. Walking. What's his name? Laurent. Laurent Raw. Laurent Raw. Okay, we can look him up on Instagram. Amazing. Is he in London? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Excellent. Okay. And how have you? How was the second lockdown for you? Well, it was okay because I mean, it didn't feel as much, and I, 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 but because I was, I was now teaching more, I didn't have any time to really do my own practice. So I, I, I was a bit like, ah, I'm one too tired anyway to practice myself. So it was, it was more of a struggle, I must say. But um, it's nice to be used to teaching online and having people turn up to your. Mm, nice. Second nice. lockdown was like work lockdown. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Interesting shift. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So moving on. George Floyd, may he rest in peace. From, you know, the, his killing and then all the Black Lives Matter protests, where 
people were recommended to start diversifying their feed. Did you notice an increase in followers? I can't say oh. I did, no. Okay. No. And do you, did you have any studios approaching you to again diversify their teams? I, not really. I mean, I was already in touch with one who took me on, whether that was part of the initiative. Okay. I don't know, um, but I can't say that. No, the phone wasn't ringing me loads of people, but I definitely, <laughs> okay. I've noticed a few more black faces in some studios. And oh, okay. Like okay. The, the, the counter. As a, as a teaching or teaching, staff? Teaching and staff. Both. Excellent. Okay. So you have noticed something. Yeah. Okay. Great. May more of that um, continue. Yeah. So... Normally at this point, I say before I open it up to Q&A, do you have <laughs> yeah. any promotions? But what we can do with the Q&A is where, where you see this posted on Instagram, on YouTube, drop a question into the box and Joe will respond with the answer. That is how we're going to do it this time, offline. So yeah. we're now in December. What's the rest of 2020 looking like for you? And what are you looking forward to in 2021? Any big projects? plans what do you want to share what do you want to promote i haven't got anything to promote right yet right now unfortunately i i really wanted to be doing a retreat i found this beautiful place in cornwall and um, it's perfect but i just yeah i haven't felt very confident about promoting anything right now i just think we're so up in the air and when mm. you know, there's a lot of money to put up so that, that's what i work towards we'll see what um, part of cornwall is it oh i don't know cornwall very well Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's lovely though. It's beautiful. I I went the first time I ever went it was a friend's wedding like about five years ago and I I just couldn't believe how I'd heard it was beautiful, but my god it was and it was in the summer and it was gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was really nice. Okay, yeah. so for a possible retreat in Cornwall. Next year. I mean, I definitely want to do another smoking joga before Christmas because it's the kind of vibe for Christmas, it'll come nice. Vibe. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I smoke and yoga. Is that yeah, the name of disco? Yoga. I just yoga. Have yoga. Yes, a play on my name. Ah, yoga. I get it. Of course. Yes. 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 <laughs> I haven't planned much. To be honest, I haven't been. Yeah, I felt like I couldn't. It was okay. too, too up in the air, unfortunately. Okay. Back okay. on the deck, hopefully. Back on the decks. Where do you DJ? Do you have a regular um, residency somewhere? Uh, no, I don't have any residency anymore. I, I mean, I play regularly for Glitterbox and Defected, so I would have been in Ibiza and Croatia and at Ministry of Sound this year, but that's obviously cancelled. But next year, hopefully, that'll all be back on again and I'll get my gigs back. So I'm all over Excellent. the place. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. So before I say farewell, do you want to, any, anything you want to share, anything you forgot to mention, any final thoughts? Before I say thank you so much, and it's been a pleasure. Oh, thank you. I don't have any final thoughts. No, it's fine. It's just I, I always just like to because sometimes you think, oh, well, I should have mentioned. Okay. I should have mentioned. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll remember later. But I actually said that. But well, do you know what? You can have the beauty of when when it posts. You know, our lovely Beck, head of marketing, when she posts it. If you do think of something, you can add it into the comments yourself. Yeah. Why don't we do it that way? Okay. All it's been right. a pleasure, my love. Thank Lovely to meet much. you. Take Thank care. you so much. Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye.